Jason Beckford. Penn and Teller. Eartha Kitt. Comedian Chris Spencer. Judy Tanuda. Kennedy. And our center square. It's great to have you here. Welcome to Martin and the whole gang. Give it up for our tic-tac-toe stars up here. And we've got our returning champion with $6,500 in cash, Jason Shaw. Welcome back, Jason. Good to see you. Now, yesterday, at the very end of the show, he had defended his championship. We were just about to play the bonus game, and that's what we're going to do now. Now, the stars have told you a bit about what they know. Here's where we find out how much you know about them. All right, Jace, we'll take a look over here at these nine keys. As you recall, one of them opens our little trunk. What's in it there, John? You can ride all the Queen's horses. It's an equestrian vacation in England. From Cross Country International, you and a guest will spend a week perfecting your horseback riding skills while staying at a charming country inn. From Cross Country International at EquestrianVacations.com. It's a trip of a lifetime. You want that trip, right? You yep, want I do. that trip. All right, here's the drill. You pick a square. I'll read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we take away a bad key, improving your chances of going horseback riding in Britain. All right, 30 seconds on the clock for our champ. It starts ticking when you pick your first star. Steven. Steven appeared on Broadway in No Sex, Please. We're British. Disagree. Wrong. Next. Kennedy. Has a style of glasses named after her. Agree. Wrong. Next. Penn and Teller. Have been working together for over 26 years. Agree. Right. Next. Gina. Played a nun who was a former stripper on The Practice. Disagree. Right. Next. Martin Mull. Martin's allergic to jello. Disagree. Right, next. Earth then. Toured the world as a dancer and singer before the age of 20. Agree. Right, next. Chris. Hosts a show at an L.A. comedy club called Chocolate Sunday. Agree. Right, next. Tyson. Was Angela Bassett's love interest in how Stella got her groove back. Disagree. Right, next. Judy. Used to play her on accordion at Chicago Country. Agree. Yes, he got it at the buzzer thing, yes. <laughs> That's exhausting. Let's get John <laughs> All right. Here we go. You got seven right. That means we take away seven of the bad ones. I have long contended that losing at this point hurts worse. I agree. <laughs> Only one of them will do it. This has got to be it. All right, good luck. Good luck. You really want to go to England? Come on, I want to go to England. I want to ride some horses. $4 in cash and trips. Let's find out who Jason's new opponent is. She's a reading comprehension teacher from Villanova, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Elizabeth Prestel. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Good. Welcome. How Good to you? have you here. It says here you're starting a company to find lost pets. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, my friend and I recently tragically lost our kitten. Oh. So it inspired us to help others. All right. Here's the deal. Uh, it's a two out of three uh, match, as always. Whoever wins two games goes on to the bonus round as champion. Our first game is worth $1,000, and as our challenger, Elizabeth, you get to kick it off. Great. I'll start with Stephen Collins. Stephen Collins. All right. His CD, Stephen Collins, available on his website, stephencollins.com. On December 2nd, 1966, what could a Roman Catholic do in the United States for the first time without guilt? Enjoy unlimited weekend sins. <laughs> it's a special offer. That... Yeah. Eat uh, meat on Friday. I will agree. Eat meat on Friday. That is right. Circle gets the square. Jason. Martin Mall. Martin Mall. All right, Martin. How do you how do you say my master in Hebrew? Hebrew. 
surprisingly enough, Tom, Hebrew is not my strong suit. Um, <laughs> my master? My master. Well, whatever it is, I bet James Brolin says it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to just show the uh, scope of my understanding of the whole language and just go with rabbi. That's the, one of the few words I know, and I think it might be that. I agree. Rabbi it is. Yes. X gets the square. <laughs> Elizabeth. Chris Spencer, please. Chris Spencer. All right. Hosting Chocolate Sundays at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood Sundays, as you may have heard. Chris, according to legend, why would a mermaid make a human man wear a magic cap? So they wouldn't make little mermaids? <laughs> he got the magic cap. Uh, why would he make him wear a magic cap? Mm -hmm. So when he fell asleep, he would think about her all night. All right. So he would dream about her, think about her. I disagree. So he could live under the sea with her. He could breathe through his magic cap. Circle gets it. We get a break. We'll be back in the first of our two out of three match right after this. It's real. The Wamu Way. In the first game of our best two out of three match in our defending champion, Jason Shaw, it's your turn. Gina Lee Nolan for the Gina block. Gina Lee for the block, all right. <laughs> Gina Lee, what does uh, men's health say is the best excuse to use to get out of a speeding ticket? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I've used a lot, lots of excuses, and only one has worked, and it is that my speedometer was broken, and it did work. I disagree. A family emergency is, is good in, in lieu of a busted right. speedometer. Yeah, X gets that. Mm -hmm. All right, Elizabeth. Eartha Kitt for the block, please. Eartha Kitt for the block. All right, Eartha. In the old rhyme, in the old rhyme, where was a man going with kits, cats, sacks, and wives? Uh, living in the jungle, better than a tent. Than a penthouse. No, I have no idea. Now, she said she had no idea. Would you like to take the question yourself or? St. Ives. You are right. Yes. Yeah. Circle Yay! gets the block. Right. All right, Jason. I'll go with Kennedy. Kennedy. All right. Friend or foe on the game show network. <laughs> Kennedy, Newsweek reports that newlyweds have found a popular new way to help pay for their honeymoon. Mm. What is it? Uh, they are seeking corporate sponsorships. Okay. I agree. No, they're having the wedding guest pay. They put it on their bridal registry. So a circle gets that square. All right, Elizabeth. Penn and Teller for the win, Penn please. and Teller's Bull Funky. Second season on Showtime in 2004. All right, guys, as the all-knowing Dr. Joyce Brothers say, the more successful you are at work, the longer you're more likely to live. Well, well, if it's true, Joe Piscopo should be dead in three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, we do this show on Showtime that's debunking all this stuff. I bet it's garbage, but I bet the answer you're looking for is true. I bet it's junk science, and she says true. He says yes, that's what she believes. I disagree. That's what she believes, that it is I'm yes. I'm sorry, I so, tried to give it to you. Uh, She's a nut. So, yeah, so yeah, X gets that one. So, Jason? Um, <laughs> Judy Tenuta. Judy Tenuta. All right, Judy. According to a report published by the American Psychological Association, do college students have more or fewer mental problems than they did 10 years ago? You know, I would have to say, with all the tongue piercings and every, I would have to say now. The, the, um, there are more or fewer? More now. mental problems now. More now. Definitely. Right. Okay. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Mental. They're mental. They're yeah, mental. Yeah. I think we're all evidence of that. Yeah, more. Yes, that's correct. X gets the square. Elizabeth. Tyson Beckford for the five square win. Tyson for the five square win. Okay. Tyson, when uh, when Mies van der Rohe wrote, quote, less is more, 
What was he referring to? The strip club. <laughs> <laughs> um, writing? Writing. I disagree. Design or architecture. Circle gets it in the five square wins. We get a break. When we come back, we'll play a secret square game right after this. Stick around. I am live. Play along in your head. Play along for real at gsn.com, and your name could be here. Log on now. To kick off the second in our best two out of three match, our challenger Elizabeth has won the first game. This one's a secret square game. Let's find out what's in the secret square stash. John? Give my regards to our neighbors up north on your vacation in Canada's Victoria, British Columbia. The jewel of the Pacific Northwest, where you and a guest will spend six nights enjoying award-winning service, five-star accommodations, and a view of Victoria's famous harbor at the new Hotel Grand Pacific. Let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. <laughs> that sound effect, by the way, is from the soundtrack of Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> Jason, you got to win this game and the next one to retain your championship. Elizabeth, you get to kick it off. I'll go with Stephen Collins. Please. All right, Stephen, here we go. Do experts say you should wash a banana before handling it? Huh? Well, yeah, because if you touch one banana, it's like touching every other banana that that banana has ever been with. <laughs> Can I change my mind? I'm going to change my mind. Okay. No, I don't think with a banana, because you peel it, I don't think it makes any difference. I disagree. Y you should wash, because they're grown with chemicals and pesticides that can get on your skin. So Circle gets that square. Jason. Tyson Beckford. Oh, secret square. Tyson Beckford for a Canadian vacation. All right, Tyson, here's a little uh, picture up here to help. Sharon Stone received her only Oscar nomination for her role in this film. Is it Basic Instinct, Gloria, or Casino? Hmm. It was my favorite film, so I got to say Casino. I agree. My, my other choice would be, ain't my forehead big, though? <laughs> it's Casino. Yes, that's right. X gets the square. <laughs> Elizabeth. Kennedy, please. All right, Kennedy, here we go. What are leftolas? That is a, um, a great word for left-handed women in Spanish. Okay. I disagree. They're the tiny nubs of leftover Crayolas. Leftolas. <laughs> Circle gets the square. <laughs> right, Jason? Penn and Teller for the block. Penn and Teller at the Rio, except Tuesday in Las Vegas. In Peanuts, Sally liked Linus. Charlie Brown had a thing for a little red-haired girl. Who was in love with piano playing Schroeder? Liberace. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Peanuts character. Uh, the Peppermint Patty. I agree. You Lucy. fool! L Lucy! I can't get this whole... Lucy was in I love. I couldn't have been more tentative. With Schroeder. I couldn't have been more Can't give you that one. You have to earn it yourself. Penn and Teller for the win, And please. the championship, if you get it. All right. In Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life... Oh, what my was, favorite. What was Angelina Jolie out to save? Well, her acting career. <laughs> and the twist is she failed. That's the twist at the end of it. <laughs> well, it would have to be the Holy Grail. For the championship, the Holy Grail. I disagree. That's the way you do it, Pandora's see? Pandora's box. We have a new champion. That's right. Okay. Jason Shaw. We have to say goodbye to you. You take with you $20,110 in cash and chips. It's been a pleasure having you here. Elizabeth Prestel, you're our new champion. Congratulations. Thank you. Want to play the bonus round? Yes. We'll do that with our new champ when we come right back. Stick around.
everyone has. Well, your name could be here. Log on to GSN.com and see if you can beat these current leaders. Brand new champ, Elizabeth, and uh, time to play the bonus round. Uh, I want you to take a look over here at these nine keys, Elizabeth. One of them will open this brightly lit trunk, and what's in there, John? Set sail for paradise! It's a Caribbean cruise adventure! With Windjammer Barefoot Cruises, you and a guest will spend seven days sailing the exotic Caribbean on one of Windjammer's magnificent tall ships. Satisfy your pirate soul while enjoying wonderful accommodations. Visit Windjammer.com. And you'll fly Air Jamaica's nonstop champagne flights, the world's best airline to the Caribbean. It's a trip of a lifetime. All right, John, thank you very much. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock for our new champ. The clock starts ticking, Elizabeth, when you pick your first star. Steven. Steven's wife played his ex-wife in a feature film. Agreed. Right, next. Kennedy. Kennedy played drums on the Bangles reunion tour. Disagree. Right, next. Penn Teller. Penn is a direct descendant of Quaker leader William Penn. Agreed. Wrong, next. Gina Lee. Sold her Baywatch swimsuit on eBay and the check bounce. Agreed. Wrong, next. Martin. Is an avid ballroom dancer. Agreed. Wrong, next. Eartha. Eartha's daughter's first name is Kit. Disagree. Ra wrong, next. Chris. Chris is colorblind. Agreed. Wrong, next. Tyson. Tyson snowboarded down a glacier in Canada. Agreed. Right, next. Judy. Was a meat packer at Kroger. Disagree. Wrong. Ah. All right, Elizabeth, you finished before time was up. Let's go down here and count some keys. Okay. All right. All right. Right over here. And you got three right in 30 seconds. Let's take away three of the bad ones. Meaning one of those six will get you that trip. Uh, do you want to pick it? No. Okay. <laughs> First time anyone ever asked, though. That was very nice. I'm just too nervous. Oh. Come here, here, Elizabeth. Right over here. Let's see, if I had picked it, having I know, a bit that's why. Yeah, I would have picked uh, I which one? Yo, definitely this one here, right? Yeah. But we'll give you $500 for every correct answer. So far as champion, you have $3,500. Congratulations. Not bad. And, uh, you're going to be back on Monday to defend your championship, right? Let's uh, let's give a thanks to Mark Mull and all of our stars. I'm Tom Berger on behalf of all of them. Hope you join us Monday on Hollywood Square. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Civil Ingo, right here on GSN. Hi, my name is Mike, and I live near Sacramento, California, and I like quiz shows like yours. I wish that you would have a more PG-oriented show, because uh, I would enjoy your show a lot more if you wouldn't make so many dirty jokes on it. Thank you very much. Bye. This is Kenneth Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think you should um, put Penn and Teller on the center square one time. Yeah, my name is Gloria. I live in Wall, South Dakota. And I do watch Hollywood Squares all the time. And I also watch Seventh Heaven, so could you have Stephen Collins on again really soon? Because he is gorgeous. Thank you so much.